go. Hey VC, welcome back. This is Hub Tunes. I'm Mike. Uh, doing a quick vinyl find. I got a few things that came in this week. Um, and I wanted to show them to you. So uh, let's just do this real quick. Um, you know I love my MoFis. And this became available. Um, I love this album. This is Big Brother and the Holding Company. Uh, Cheap Thrills, Janis Joplin on lead vocals. Um, not um, not the greatest recorded album of all time. So the MoFi sounds good. Does it sound great? No, but it's still a really nice version. I got a. Apparently these are limited. Uh, I got three thousand two hundred. I don't know what. I don't know what the number that they're going up to. I. I don't know what limited even means anymore these days. Uh, but yeah, picked up the MoFi of Cheap Thrills, Big Brother, and The Holding Company. Uh, this is a band, um, Painted Shield. Uh, Mazzy showed this on Instagram one night. I, I was on there and I was fiddling around and he showed this record. And I immediately went to Spotify and I fell in love. I think it came out last year. It's um, self-titled, uh, Painted Shield. Um, this is Stone Gossard and Mason Jennings. Uh, Stone Gossard is the guitarist for um, Pearl Jam. I'm not a Pearl Jam fan. I know, it's weird. I'm not a Pearl Jam fan at all. Um, this is fantastic. I love this record. Um, I played it all weekend long on uh, Spotify, and then I, I found, I found a copy on eBay. It's a little dinged up, which kind of, kind of disappointed me, but it's fine. Um, it sounds good. It's not, you know, not the greatest pressing in the world, but it does sound really nice. Um, yeah, Mason Jennings. When I when I first saw this, I was like, well, it's, uh, Pearl Jam. I don't know, you know. And, but it, Mason Jennings, I really like. I've been kind of following him over the years. Um, he's been around a while, but he's a singer-songwriter, kind of folky. So I, I didn't know what this was going to sound like, and I, like I said, I, I went to Spotify and absolutely fell in love. It's a terrific album. Um, Mason Jennings is pretty cool, too, if you guys check out some of his solo work. Um, kind of singer-songwriter folk, folkish stuff. Um, I got to see him live down at South by Southwest about... Gosh, it's probably been 12 years, 11 years now. Um, he and Martha Wainwright opened for a acoustic Pete Townsend in a little bar. Um, just one of those South by Southwest moments that just you'll never forget. Um, but they all played together. He, he play, came out on stage and played with Pete. They did like Magic Bus and they did a few other stuff. Um, Martha Wainwright was adorable and... She was in complete awe of Pete Townsend and actually being on the same stage as Pete. It was a great concert moment in my life. Really cool. But check out Mason Jennings' solo stuff. Uh, and check out Painted Shield. This is awesome. Awesome album. Uh, oh, next I picked up the um, Music on Vinyl um, Morphine, uh, their first album. Uh, good. It's, um, it's a good pressing. It's a really good pressing. There, there was a pressing before this that um, wasn't real great. I, I forget who did it. Um, but then there was one, there was also a pressing before this that was really good. Um, this one is excellent. I, was, I, I, I almost didn't get it because I know the last pressing a lot of people have said wasn't very good. Um, but I picked it up, it's good. It sounds great. I, I love morphine. And I never really had any of their stuff on vinyl. I always had it on, uh, I always had it on uh, CD. So this is uh, Morphine Good, and it's on pretty cool white vinyl. If you like colored vinyl, um, yeah. So I was really pleased to get this. It took a long time. I bought it online and. Man, it took weeks. It came with a, came with a nice, uh, a nice little, uh, a whole bunch of 
little stories and whatnot about the recording. Um, yeah, it's it's a good pressing. I would if you're a fan of morphine and you want to get their stuff on vinyl. I would highly recommend the um, the latest, the two latest uh, music on vinyl releases. Excellent of their first two albums. Um, yeah, good stuff. This album I went to listen to the other day, and apparently I didn't own it. So I, I dug through those records back there. I could not find it anywhere. It's one of my I, one of my favorite albums. This is a guy named John Grant. This is the Queen of Denmark. Um, John is a kind of a singer songwriter. He gets a little funky. He's very sarcastic. Um, he's not afraid to throw someone in his life under the bus on a record and in song. Uh, never piss off anyone who has a record contract, because um, you might come to find you're the subject of some of his music. Um, but this is called The Queen of Denmark. This is a terrific album. Uh, the His backing band on this is a band out of Denton, Texas called Midlake. Um, they are big album big-ish album was uh, Trials of Van Occupanther, probably about 15 years ago. Um, a wonderful album. They're terrific musicians. They're still together, but they don't make as much music as they used to. Uh, they they used to be pretty prolific. They were putting out albums quite a bit, and um, they were they were his backing band. John is an interesting fellow. He, um, I think he was born in the United States, but his family moved... He moved to Russia for a while, lived in Russia, he lived in Iceland, he, he lived in Finland, spent all over the world. I don't think he spends much time in the United States anymore, um, but really interesting. He's got a great voice, real silky, deep voice. Um, I, I, you should check him out. This is a wonderful album. This, this is probably my favorite. Um, yeah, this, this this is good. So check this out. John Grant, uh, the Queen of Denmark. This probably is, this might be a second. This might be a second album. And he's since made probably another four. I think he's up to like six albums. Uh, this I picked up because um, Steve Carlson showed this on his channel. Uh, the Early Morning Sunday Show with Steve Carlson and Kat guys subscribe to Steve if you don't know Steve. Steve is uh, quirky and fun and has fantastic taste in music. Um, I, of anyone on the VC, I think Steve might be the one person that I've actually bought m a lot of stuff that he's shown. Um, yeah, him, yeah, I definitely probably want it in the top. Uh, Mark Feld from, uh, what's his channel called? Um, Oh, I forget. Mark doesn't make a lot of videos, but I, I really like Mark's taste in music, too. He, he he has wonderful taste in music. I wish he would make some more videos. So, Mark, if you're watching, let's make some more videos. I want to see what you're buying. Um, but this is uh, a suggestion of Steve Carlson, um, and I'm going to butcher this. Tidani Tham? He is a guitarist, mostly um, acoustic guitar. I believe he's from Somalia? I believe. Um, it's a wonderful record. It's very mellow. Um, it sounds... Yeah, I don't even... I can't even... I can't even read it. I don't have my glasses in here. I'm sorry. Um, but it's very low-fi acoustic guitar. It's really pretty. I'm really, really enjoying this. I, I, um, I need to keep playing it because it's, it's really wonderful. Uh, next up, I, you guys might know this if you're following my channel. I am a huge David Bowie fan, and I saw this. <laughs> um, David Bowie in jazz. Um, you know, it's a $22 record. I picked it up because I, I, I'm kind of a Bowie completist. Kind of. I, I am. I'm a Bowie completist, and I just buy everything Bowie. Um, it's, you know, it's a jazz tribute to David Bowie. <laughs> That's what it is. Um, I do like the cover. I really like the cover of it. Um, it's okay. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, I like Bowie and I like jazz. 
Um, it's it's okay. Um, I don't know any of the artists. I'm not familiar with any of these artists, but they do. They cover Let's Dance. They, they do Andy Warhol, which is one of my favorite Bowie songs. Uh, Ashes to Ashes, Man Who Sold the World, Space Oddity, Lady Stardust, Jean Genie, Life on Mars, Starman. It's, it's fun. <laughs> it's one of those that you just kind of, well, well, I got it. Um, I picked up this reissue. Um, Cal Tater. Um, this is Solar Heat. He is a uh, vibraphonist, kind of a Latin, uh, Latin influence. Well, he's Latin, <laughs> so I guess it's that's very influenced. Um, this is more Latin lounge than some of his other stuff. It's got a terrific cover. Um, it's 1968. Um, it's a really, it, this record sounds fantastic. Oh, yeah, it's on colored vinyl. It just came out. It, it was just reissued. Um, it's on, it's kind of weird. Um, I forget who released this. I think it was cut by Bernie, I think it said it was cut by Bernie Grunman. I forget who released it released it but um it just came out this week uh, i was i pulled into the record store and um he was unloading his boxes um and he let me go through them first so that was a good day um yeah it, it's it's fun it's loungy party cocktail music i like it i like it uh, also on that same trip, while I was going through his boxes as he just came in, as they just came in, I picked up uh, this, Floating Points, Pharaoh Sanders and uh, the London Symphony Orchestra. Not generally my jam. It's not something that's really in my wheelhouse. I'm not a big orchestra person. I appreciate it. Um, I have some stuff with orchestras. It, it's just not. It, not my style, not really in my wheelhouse. Um, but I grabbed this because I've been hearing great things about this. And I have to tell you, I'm sold. It's really, really good. It's, it's really interesting. There's only two songs, uh, Promises, A and B, one on each side. Um, it's really really interesting i am really enjoying it um yeah so uh pharaoh sanders london symphony orchestra uh this just came out too i, I know i've seen people talking about this and uh, i guess people pre-ordered it and now the pre-orders aren't coming until later in the spring or summer i don't know why that would be because my record store had several copies of this um i hate when pre-orders don't show up on the day they're supposed to. But um, yeah, if you guys are expecting this, you're gonna be in love. You're gonna you're gonna absolutely love it. And if you, if you know anything about Pharaoh Sanders and you're a Pharaoh Sanders fan, this is probably a must have for your collection. And then the last record I got. This was also part of me digging through the mailboxes at the record store when I walked in. Gil Evans does the music of Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> it's um, it's much like the uh, well, no, it's better than the Bowie jazz. <laughs> um, it's much better. Um, it's good. I, I I'm enjoying it. I I need to play it a little bit more. Um, yeah, it's it's really good. Um, if you like Jimi Hendrix, you'll you'll love this. It's not on anything special. It's um. It's a speaker's corner. You get the, um, um, and speakers, this is a great catalog. I've never seen this with, um, this is a great catalog with, from speaker's corner. I've never, I bought a, quite a few, uh, speaker's corners, um, releases and I've never got a catalog like this. I mean, I'm sure it's just their website, <laughs> but I was really impressed with this. Um, yeah, so that, that was pretty cool. It's, it's got good stuff on it. It's, um, 
there's a volt. I'll go through a copy of the song so you guys know what's on there. Um, it's got Angel, uh, Crosstown Traffic, and there's some vocals on on, uh, on Crosstown Traffic. Castles Made of Sand, Up From the Skies, um, The Merman intro, Voodoo Chow, and my favorite Jimi Hendrix song is Gypsy Eyes, and that, that that's on here. Um, oh, I do have my glasses. Um, yeah, I'll read off. Uh, it's Gil Evans Orchestra, John Abercrombie on uh, electric guitar, who I adore. Uh, Bruce Damis on drums, Susan Evans on conga, Peter Gorgon on Gordon on French horn. I won't go through everybody. Keith Loving on guitar. I have an album with Keith Loving on it. I forget what that is. I really like it. What is that? Damn, can't remember. Uh, David Sanborn is on uh, flute and sex. So I mean, it's 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 fun. It wasn't expensive. I think it was twenty bucks. Pick it up if you if you like Jimi Hendrix. If you like Gil Evans, come on, pick it up. Um, but yeah, another good release by uh, Speakers Corner. They're doing some great stuff. So um, yeah, that's it. I don't think there's anything else. I had a Bowie. Uh, David Bowie's doing, um, or not him, his estate is doing, um, they're re releasing some live stuff. I think there's a series of five, um, and I have them all except the first one, and the most recent one was supposed to be in the mailbox when I got home from work, but it wasn't there. Um, hopefully it doesn't get lost like the first one did, um, uh, because they are, um, these things are skyrocketing on the secondary market and I would love to have all five of them um, but I went on eBay and Discogs to look for the first one and it's it's up to over $300 right now so I won't be getting the first one unless they reissue it but who knows they say they're limited and who knows what what will happen um, but that's it uh, just a quick little vinyl finds. I hope you guys are all doing well, and uh, thanks again for subscribing. Uh, please like, subscribe. All your views are great, and make some comments. Um, love chatting with you guys. And uh, as usual, questions, comments, snide remarks in the comment section. I will talk to you soon. Have a great week.